Now this is going to demand that we use our entire internal torque chain. I suggest you start by doing it bilaterally and then progress to unilateral variations. So let's take a look at the bilateral version. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate my internal torque chain by squeezing the daylights out of my glutes. So you can see that gave me a hollow body position. Now you'll notice I'm in a dead hang position. So what we want to do is a mini pull up, but we're going to keep the elbows completely straight. So take a look. So that all happened from my pecs and my teres. I like to hold it at the top for the peak contraction and then slowly lower. You probably noticed there was a lot of tension in my entire internal torque chain when I was doing it. And that is the secret sauce. I know you've seen me doing the alternating one arm drops, but before we get to that progression, I would suggest we scale it with unilateral scapular pull-ups. So it's the same thing we just did bilaterally, except it's with one arm only at a time. Now, make sure you do both arms because you don't want to develop imbalances. It'll also be a wake-up call. It'll help you realize what muscles in your internal torque chain need more work. So the secret to doing this is using your pecs and teres as well as your external obliques. The easiest way to turn on your external obliques is to squeeze the daylights out of your glute max. So let's take a look. I suggest you get up to the bar with both hands. Hollow body position, so squeezing the bum. External obliques are exploding at the sides of my body. Now, I'm going to let one arm off the bar, which means I'm squeezing my bum. And then I am going to do scapular pull-ups. Again, I suggest you start by having both hands on the bars. Then you slowly release one, squeeze the bum, and then do your pull-ups. The only reason why I'm not swinging wildly is because I'm really using my external obliques and glute max. Those are no joke. One thing that you can do to work your way up is partial weight bearing versions. So for example, if you have rings or a TRX hanging beside you, you can hang on to it with one hand and practice doing partial weight bearing unilateral scapular pull-ups. To up the ante, we're going to do single arm drops. Now for the other two variations, I had my thumb and fingers wrapped around the bar like this. But for the single arm drop version, I actually recommend a suicide grip where your fingers and thumbs are around the bar like this, just because it makes it a lot easier to grab back onto the bar. So the first thing I do is I squeeze my bum, get into a hollow body, do a scapular pull up, my arms are straight, and I'm going to let one arm down, but I'm really squeezing the bum, and I'm minimizing swinging. Don't hold your breath, so you could either exhale through pursed lips as you reach your arm back up, and inhale through your nose as the arm comes down, or you could reverse that pattern. I say experiment and see what you prefer. All right, it's your turn to do it, but do it well. <laughs> 